What's up, guys? It's boy Jay coming back again with another stream. Tonight, we're going to get into how much money should you spend on a first date. Before we get started, make sure you smash that like, that thumbs up. And of course, if you are new, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell to be notified of future streams and content. And I do want to welcome you as we get started tonight. Um, the first thing that I do want to, want to address is we actually had a poll up. The poll was actually... Um, in regards to is it okay to date multiple people at one time this was, was a poll we put up two days ago it looks like it got 15 votes and uh 53 percent of you guys said yes that it is okay to date multiple people at one time um there was also some questions or some statements rather um on the poll as well so we'll bring those up it says uh let me just pull this up here Okay, so those questions on the poll was, it matters um, if you're actually together with someone or just dating. Nowadays, you have to have the discussion because I've heard girls just say uh, what they have is complicated. Uh, that was by Jesse James. So, Jesse, I think we've all heard when someone had a complicated situation and they were basically looking to, like, move on or they want to just, just have fun in the moment or they're looking for just a friend, you know. Um I think once again, it goes back to what I said in the previous video, having that communication up front, really figuring out what people want um, before you decide to, you know, date or engage with them is uh, going to be probably the most important thing. You know, having that conversation, hey, saying, you know, what do you want? Do you want something long term? Do you just want a friend for right now? Uh, do you just want to hang out? I think these are very, very important things um, when it comes to that and someone saying someone saying that to you. Uh, next up is going to be K. K says, unless you don't like the one you are dating, then tell that person and go out with someone else. But let the one you dated know you don't like them That if, if they do like you. Uh, shout out to you, K. So, yeah, I'm going to agree with you there. Um, you definitely don't want to lead anybody on, right? So if you're you know, dating multiple people, could be one, could be, or could be two, could be three. If you don't like a person that you're dating, obviously don't lead them on. Uh, let them know how you really feel so they can move on with their life and you can move on with yours. And, um, you know, you're not you're not wasting their time or yours. Uh, Kay also says, y'all know it is a sin. Okay, that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> if we want to get into religion, we, we can definitely get there. But uh, that's that's a whole other topic. Uh, Ryan Devlin comes in. This is a question says uh, and this is a very important question says it is okay is it okay to have unprotected se unprotected sex with two females at the same time while getting to know both i'm going to give you a hard no on that one ryan it is definitely not okay uh whether male or female to have sex unprotected with uh two people that you're just getting to know um so yeah that's that's the first obviously uh questions and statements to our polls i wanted to address that and um you know, good, good content from there. Topic of the night, guys, obviously, is going to be how much should you spend on a first date? Before we get to that, I do want to share some facts. I like talking about facts. I like having numbers. I don't just like spewing stuff out of my mouth. So with that said, let's get into the facts. Uh, goes on to say here from an article uh, in Linktree or Link Lending Tree. This came out in uh, 2000, uh, 2020. Says looking for love comes at a price. In 2019, Americans spend an average of $697 to go on dates, according to a 2020 survey by LendingTree, which polled 1,281 U.S. adults. The amount Americans spent last year on dates, whether it was on dining out, attending a concert, visiting a museum, or otherwise, differs by gender and generation. Here's the breakdown by age. Gen Z, which is 18 to 23, spent $366. Uh, millennials, which are 24 to 39, spent $696. Gen X, which is 40 to 54, spent $903. And the baby boomers, which are 55 to 74, spent 632. And um, the differences by gender was men spent $861, women spent 500. So with that said, we can kind of see the you know gender disparity there as far as um, traditional values you know men spending more than women it's an interesting take definitely uh definitely interesting to see that um also goes on to say while canceling 
because some people may cancel dates, and that's another topic we'll get into. Um, but I definitely feel like some people shouldn't get mad or aggravated if someone cancels on you. They may not have the money, right? It may not be you. They may just not have the money. Um, says, while canceling due to finances may sound like a cheap move to some, it's worth remembering how much a first date can cost. Survey respondents uh, report spending an average of $77 on a first date in 2019, which is no small price to pay for taking a chance on someone new. Uh, here's how the average amount spent on a first date differs by age. Gen Z was $72. Millennials were $83. Gen X was $82. And baby boomers at $58. So, with that said, I got my drink here. Hope you guys have your drink. Um, obviously, cheers to you guys as we get started. Okay. So, the first thing I want to start with is, is this. Before you go out on any dates, before you decide to court someone, before you start having a conversation with anyone about dating, um, make sure you have your priorities in order. Make sure that you've taken care of the things that you need to take care of so that you can be a potential great person um, to the person that you're seeking out to date. I want to say that because I think a lot of people, when they first start off looking for someone to maybe be a partner, friend, companion, wife, husband, whatever, um, they don't do enough soul searching. They don't find themselves. They don't figure out exactly who they are. So that's going to be the first step. Uh, second step is making sure that your bills are paid, making sure that you have everything paid, making sure that you're not broke. You shouldn't be dating if you're broke. You shouldn't be dating if you don't have money. This is very important. Make sure that your affairs are in order. Make sure your bills are taken care of. Make sure that you're comfortable and make sure that you have money so that you can go out and enjoy yourself comfortably. Now, next, first date. This is going to be uh, for the men. There's a big difference between, you know, someone taking charge and someone taking control. Um, obviously, for the men, if you're, you know, talking to a talking to a woman, you're trying to figure, you know, you're trying to figure her out, see exactly what she wants to do, uh, what is she like, where does she want to go. Um, don't let her make the plans. Don't let her make the plans. I'm not saying that she shouldn't have input, but understand what she likes, what she wants, and you make the plans, right? You take into account where she wants to go, the thing, the certain different activities, you know, maybe what her hobbies are. Um, you know, maybe she likes to be outdoors, maybe she likes to be indoors. These are all kind of things you want to figure out in the pre-stages of having this conversation before the date happens. So after you figure that out, make sure that you take basically control and set up the date. At that point, you want to make sure that you have a proper budget. Now, depending on what she may want to do. You got to figure out as far as what the activities are going to be. You got to figure out as far as uh, what they're going to cost. Because let's say she likes extravagant things. You're going to want to figure out whether or not you have the budget for it. And then you're going to have to internalize whether or not you're going to have the money to spend in those specific situations. Now, does that mean that you can't do it or you can't figure out how to have a good time? No, that means you may have to improvise. You may have to switch some things around. You have to be creative. That's what I'm getting at. Um, but the budget is very important. Having a budget is probably the most important thing when going on a first date. Now, I will say this. If you're used to going out on extravagant dates, maybe you have steak and lobster every weekend. Maybe uh, you go to places like Ruth's Chris. Maybe you go to places that, you know, five-star restaurants. Maybe that's your lifestyle. Maybe you can afford it. But for the people that can't afford it, Obviously, you don't have to impress anybody. I think this is very important. You don't have to impress people. Maybe the guy looks great or maybe the woman looks beautiful. Never change up the amount that you spend based upon what somebody looks like. Realize that if you're going to date someone, you're dating someone for their personality, not because of their looks. And that should never affect how much you spend or how much you want to contribute to the date. Now, basically figuring out what you're going to spend, like I said, it comes down to your budget. How much do you make? How much uh, disposable income do you have? How much can you spend after you, ha you go through your free money? These are all things that people need to pay attention to and really understand so that they can go out, be comfortable, have a good time, and show this person that they're capable of uh, actually being on this date. Now, uh, getting into 
the quick comments here. Bob says, I usually ask a woman out for drinks first. Um, that's a good one. It's definitely a good one. I think I think we have to look back at the point where like different people do different things. Sometimes um a woman might not want to drink, right? That's an option. Um, just like a man might not want to drink. So sometimes you got to figure out different different things there. Uh Lutza says, I like for a guy to take me out on a ride on his motorcycle or a walk, then dinner. I love ribs. Uh, shout out to you, Lutza. Then out for coffee. So that's more of like a like a basic approach. I like it. I definitely like it. Um, everybody's different. Everybody's different. I think the, the the guideline comes down to this. Be able to do what you know you're comfortable doing. You should never allow yourself to be under pressure. And I think society has created this masquerade as far as what people think they should do on a first date. They think it's got to be super extravagant. It's got to be picture and Instagram worthy. Um, we're kind of losing ourselves as far as what the first date actually means. The first date is the introduction. You're trying to figure out if this is a person that you should court and uh, potentially have relations with. The first date is not where you go all out. You don't need to impress anybody. You're basically trying to show who you are. Um, and this is another topic. This is another very, very important topic. Be who you are, right? I know a lot of people, you know, whether you're a woman, you put up, you know, put on the makeup, you want to look great. Uh, the man, he may go get a haircut. He may, you know, he, he may do all the stuff that he normally doesn't do on a daily, daily basis. And I feel like that's, that's, that, that's great. That may work for certain people. Um, but make sure that you're doing that for you not just for the person that you're going to date. Because if you're doing it just for the date, then guess what? Down the line, all that stuff's going to go out the window, right? You're going to stop taking care of yourself. You're going to stop doing your makeup. You're going to stop, you know, basically taking care of yourself. And eventually the person that you may end up dating is going to notice these things, which are very important. Um, shout out to Bob says agree. So yeah, I do have the, uh, Lutza says that's that's a fake date. Exact Lutza, how how many how many fake dates have you been on? <laughs> right, I'm sure I'm sure ple people have definitely been on uh, plenty of plenty of uh, dates where people have not been themselves. Um, let's see here. Mary Alice says if you can't, um, I'm guessing you says if you can't come out for a dinner date. There's always other ways like making dinner. Or something else. So, Mary, this is this is more so for the first date, right? For the first date, you shouldn't be inviting people over to your house for the first date. Um, it should definitely be in a public setting. You know, you definitely want don't want someone to to, to, to come to your house in the first date. Uh, that's a big no no. It's a big big red flag. Um, I was going to make a joke, but I'm not going to do it. I'm trying to keep this a little bit serious. But um, yeah, you definitely you definitely don't want. Uh, people just showing up to your house on the on the first date. That's not a that's not a good good thing. Um. So yeah, I mean, you can start off with something small. You can do coffee. You can do you know uh, go for a walk. Just have a conversation. You can go to the mall. You don't have to buy anything. You can go to the mall. You can maybe window shop a little bit. You know, just browse, talk while you're browsing. See what they like. See you know see what the other person likes. There's so many different things that you can do. You just have to be creative. And I think. A lot of people get lost in this world of social media thinking they have to do so much to impress people when they really don't. Use your brain. Take the time to figure out what it's going to take to actually just have the conversation so you can find out who the person is during that first date. And then obviously you can take it from there. Uh, Luther says a guy on the first or second or third, maybe on the fifth or sixth before they know where I'm at. Um, <laughs> shout out to you, Luther. It's kind of it's kind of tricky to to say when that's going to happen, right? I don't I don't think uh, there's any preset date limit when someone actually like learns you know who a person is. I think it just happens over time, and the more you go out, the more you learn about the individual. Um, obviously, it, it just you know it let it happen naturally, you know, but let it let it happen naturally. All right. Luda says, I have to feel comfy. Yeah, I mean, it takes it takes time to feel comfortable, right? I think a lot of people look for that initial spark. Um, and to be honest, uh, for me, if, if it doesn't happen on the first date, 
there probably won't be a second. And uh, there, there's there's reasons for that, right? I don't think you can create a spark. I think the spark has to automatically be there on the first date. Because if you're trying to force something that isn't there, you're going to end up wasting your time. You're going to end up wasting your money. And um, it's just not good to do. It's just not good to do. I don't think that... Uh, you know, chemistry can, can be, can be forced. I think it's just there. And you know, that, um, you know, that on the first date, uh, Mary Alice says, I've been out of the dating game for years. I wasn't thinking first date when I wrote that <laughs> shout out to you, Mary. Yeah. I mean, e okay. So even if we skip past the first date, cause I think we covered a lot there. Um, but even if you know, you're, you're in a relationship or if you are married, I think married people should still date, right? You should still date if you're married. You can't, um, you don't want to basically lose the, uh, the focus of the relationship. You don't want to lose the happiness. You don't, you know, you want to keep that flame going. So you still want to go out on dates. You want to switch it up. Um, you want to do all the things that you did in the beginning to basically get that person or, um, you know, basically court that person and, and show them what, you know, why they're, why they're with you. Now you want to keep all that going, whether you bought flowers uh, whether you went out to events together, whether you went to concerts, you know, don't just stop doing that stuff. Keep doing it no matter how far you are along in the relationship, because it's very important to keep that going. Once again, it goes back to being who you are. If you're a person that loves to go out, if you're a person that loves to spend time out with the individual that you're with, keep going. Because if you stop it, then that signifies that's not who you were in the first place. I get people get busy. People have things to do. But you can incorporate some time to spend with the person that you care about. You can incorporate more time to spend with the person that you need to, to show them that you still care and that you're still that person. Uh, Tennessee Tactical, what's going, what's going on, man? What's up, bro? Uh, says, I'm 51 with three kids. Um, it's hard to navigate the dating game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very tough. We're living in this modern world. But don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. The thing about it is this. I did have a, a, a conversation with Franklin the other night. I did, I did say that, you know, I didn't think there was someone for everyone, but I do feel like if you put in the time to figure out who you are, you put in the work to define yourself and you put in the work to become great um, in your own right, you will attract the person that you need in your life. No matter what age you are, you could be 21, 31. 51, 81. As long as you can figure out who you are, you will attract the person that you need in your life um, by becoming what you need. Become what you need and you'll get what you you get what you should get. Uh, Sparks says a good discussion. Yeah, it, it's it's been a great discussion. It's been a great discussion. Uh, Lutza says yes, a couple times a month. Uh, money is there. Let him pick the first uh, lady, second to pick. Did that with X for for 28 years. Yeah. I mean, you know, picking up, picking dates, obviously like the, the man should have the, uh, should, ha should have the first date figured out. Like I said, it goes back to, you know, the, the information that I mentioned earlier going back through as far as, you know, figuring out what the individual may want the man or the female, you know, because <laughs> I'll be honest, some men don't have what it takes to actually plan the first date. So some women may want to, so yeah, you may have to do just the reverse of that. Figure out what he wants, um, figure out what he likes, and then put put the date together. That may be a thing. Um, so yeah, yeah, it, it can definitely go both ways. It can go both ways. Uh, Spark says listening while driving. Shout out to you, Spark. Be safe out there. Be safe out there while while driving. Um, so yeah, I mean, it it can go both ways, right? I'm a little bit more traditional. I'm a little bit more traditional, so I think the man should obviously. Uh, take the initiative to figure out the first date. It's very important that he does that. Um, but it, it can go, it can go both ways. It can go both ways. I've seen there, there's, I've seen tons of uh, women proposing to men. That's a whole, whole other topic. We'll get into that one. But yeah, there are, there are women nowadays taking initiative as well. And, um, you know, they, they are setting up the dates and, uh, you know, taking control. Me, myself, personally, I like taking control. I like figuring out, you know, uh, what the person I'm, you know, taking out what they like to do, where they want to go, what kind of food they like, all that kind of stuff, and then setting it up. And then uh, hopefully, obviously, at that point, I've, I've made the right decisions. And they'll let you know. They'll tell you, hey, I like this place or, hey, I don't like this place. 
and then uh, you'll know where you went wrong. But if you paid attention and you listen to them, you probably won't go wrong. Probably won't go wrong. Uh, Mary Alice says, I'm 43, single, and won't have nothing to, nothing to do with these crazy dating apps. Um, Mary Alice, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. I, I really don't think it's the dating apps specifically, right? You have to treat... Um, you have to treat dating apps like any other tool, any other tool. There's going to be a lot of, um, and I'll just say it, there's a lot of trash out there, right? There's a lot of garbage. There's a lot of trash. We'll keep it real. We're, we're not, we're not going to sugarcoat it. But at the end of the day, if you use the tools, right, and you figure out how, how to maneuver through all the trash, you may be, you may find something that may be worthwhile. You know, it does take time. Um, it's not an overnight thing, but at the end of the day, I really feel like if you do put yourself out there, you take the time, um, have the conversations that you need to, you'll, you'll eventually find someone, you know, you don't have to sit there and feel like it's overwhelming. You don't have to sit there and feel like it's too much. Um, just take your time with it. It's not, it's not something to rush. It's something to enjoy, um, and not be overwhelmed by. So, yeah. Um, control to a point. Yeah, Lucy. You get, like I said, it's it's not in the sense of like him being controlling over the complete situation, um, in general. But it's more so as like as far as a man just needing to take take charge, right? Lead a little bit, because in the beginning, I'm assuming this, right, from the women that I've dated. Um, I'm assuming that the majority of women want the man to take the lead, to take the charge. So that's that's. I'm just like I said. I'm basing purely off my opinion. There are there is no right or wrong opinions. This is all um, us just sharing our point of view, and basically um, us sharing sharing our our stories and opinions. Uh, Lutza says, "Let them know I can't." Oh, okay, okay, yeah. For some reason, Lutz is not showing up in the in the in the chat. She's on the other side. Um, Sparks says. Me neither, Mary Alice. Okay, so yeah, guys. Like I said, as far as the 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 first date scenario, um, just make sure that you have the budget for it, right? You want to make sure you have the budget for it. You don't want to, um, go over what may be comfortable and what you're um what you're looking to to spend on a you know daily, weekly, monthly basis. That's the bottom line. So next topic, guys. Uh, we're actually going to be going over. The uh, Tyree Nichols, Tyree Nichols situation. That's going to be tomorrow. Um, what are we? What are we going to learn from these kind of situations, right? What are we going to learn from these kind of situations? What is there to understand? What is there to extrapolate from it? I think we can. Uh, we can cover that topic tomorrow. It's going to be a great discussion. Um, really unfortunate, unfortunate event. But it's something that we got to talk about and something that we need to discuss because there's we see this almost every year. We see it almost every year. And uh it's it's really unfortunate to have these situations happen, have people that are in the police force that obviously just don't know how to do their job. But um it's it's not a it's not a safe society society when you can't trust law enforcement to make the right decisions. Right, it's not it's not a safe um, society when you can't you cannot trust law enforcement to rate to to make the right decisions. Protect and serve does not mean um, what it should for some reason. So we're gonna have that conversation tomorrow. Make sure you guys be here for that. Um, as usual, make sure you guys smash that like, that thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Click the bell to be notified of all future content moving forward. And uh, you know. Make sure you guys drop in the community chat what you guys want to see next. I'll throw up another poll um, for the next topic, but I'll get to this poll, this current one. So it says, how much money should you spend on the first date? Over $100 or under $100? And 83% of you guys said under $100. So there it is. Uh, spark says, I really want to see the dash cam footage. I do too. I do too. I want to see what's, you know, what, what that's going to, um, entail. So we can, we can definitely do a deep dive into, uh, 
into the video and I'll make sure that I, that I put it up here. Um, if we can get that in time, uh, shout out to you, Michelle, what's going on with you? Much love, much love. Uh, Sparks says I am notified now. Cool. Cool. I'm glad. I'm glad things are, things are growing over here and I'm, and I'm glad to be able to share these kind of topics with you guys. The reason why I started this channel is because a lot of people were hitting me up with different questions and things like that on the sports channel. So, uh, it's great that we can um, we can go ahead and have these kind of topics and and discuss them um, over here a little bit more candidly and 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 be free to uh, to share what we need to. Um, Bob says it's out right now. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna digest it tonight. So uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow, guys. In the meantime, make sure you guys have a safe night. It was a great topic, and um, I will see you all tomorrow. Everyone have a good night.